Hello guys, this is Chetan Verma and you are watching my YouTube channel CSP Institute. So today I bought one more video for you people uh, regarding data type in Python. Okay, so let's get started. A data type represents the type of data stored into a variable or memory. The data types which are already available in Python language are called built-in built-in data types data types and another's are user defined data types user defined data types okay so let's talk about first regarding uh, data uh, built-in data type so very first built-in uh, let's talk about built-in data type then we'll talk about user defined data type Okay, so very first we have built in data type. Data types. Okay, so inside this we have five types, basic five types we have. First one is non type. So let's talk about non type, uh, non -type first. In Python, the non-type data type represents an object that does not contain any value. To represent such an object, we use null in language like Java. Such kind of uh, things if you want to do, we need to refer, need to assign null to it. But in Python, we store non to represent an empty object. If suppose a equals to non we uh, put into it so it will uh, it will assign none type to it okay an empty object and its data type is considered as a non type let's do a simple uh, program on it okay so we'll see data type data type dot pi we'll make one more program a equals to n o n e non and will print the type of it and we'll see the type of this particular a so a sorry control plus s and here data type dot pi so you can see the class is non type so I hope you have understood in Python program maximum of only one maximum of only one none object is provided max to max. One of the uses of none is that it is used inside a function as a default value of the argument. Here I have not uh, uh, talk about the function but uh, you can you can understand it here you try to understand it uh, later I will talk something about more about function so there I'll uh, again touch this point when calling the function we know uh, we know value is passed if no value is passed to it then the uh, default value will be taken as none okay if some value is passed to the function then that value is used by the function in boolean expression none value represents false okay so this is very important point in boolean in boolean none is none is equivalent to false okay so i hope you have understood it so this is our first data type our second data type in built-in data type is uh, numeric numeric type inside numeric type we have another multiple data types first is int then float then complex data type okay so let's talk one by one first we have int okay in data type the in data type represents an integer int means integer number integer number so all numbers from minus infinity to plus infinity are considered to be an integer integers but decimals are not uh, included here exclusive 
decimals so decimals are not included in it decimal numbers are not included in integers so if you are talking about 09 or uh, something like 5.001 so these point values are not considered as an integer number okay a number is a uh, uh, integer number is a number without any decimal decimal point or fraction part for example 200 is an integer number minus 50 is also integer number 0 is also integer number or 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 is also integer number are treated as an integer numbers now let's store an integer number minus 51 into a variable a so suppose take same example okay a equal to 10 or minus 50 as if want to store and i want to print it print a so uh, and also i want to print data type of this uh, type of this variable okay a so i'll find value of a is minus 50 and its type is int so here you can see class is int why class is int because as i told you all the variables inside all the values inside the python is treated as an object so uh, because we are assigning value to the uh, to the name or tags so they are considered as an class okay so here a is called in type variable since it is storing minus 50 which is an integer value in python there is no limit for the size of an int data type there is no limit it can store very large integer number conveniently so you can store this much value inside this and it will not show you any kind of error okay but in another language you need to specify if uh, some value is provided to int then uh, like only this much memory can be uh, is like uh, given by the operating system so very uh, limited amount of memory is uh, provided by the operating system but in python there is no such kind of conditions or constraints lies then we have another data type called float so let's talk more about the float we have another data type called float the float data type represents floating uh, point numbers a floating points numbers is a number that contains a uh, decimal point for example this is 0 0.5 or minus 3.467 or 29.290.8 or anything like this 0 0.0001 so etc are called floating uh, point numbers let's store a float number into a variable called uh, num or a let's here only we store 0 0.50 okay and i just want to execute the program so here you can see 0 0.5 is stored inside a and now what is the uh, data type of this a this is float so here i just print the type of a it is showing float okay so here uh, a is called float type variable since it is storing floating point value floating point value numbers can also be written in scientific notation where uh, we use e or capital e suppose i just want to indicate with it e or capital e okay control plus s uh, suppose and then i just want to execute it let's see oh uh, not in this form for example the number this uh, suppose 2.5 and then I just want to assign capitally to it and then 4 so control plus s so now it is showing it means 25 and after e 
four zeros. So what it what does it mean? It does it mean that 2.5 multiplied by 10 raised to power uh, 4. So it means like I can also represent it this. So this referred to this. I hope you have understood it. So such numbers are also treated as floating point numbers. Okay. And uh, like this I can also do uh, 22.55 E3. So it means also same. Uh, 22.55 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 okay so let's do it e small e and then 4 control plus s or 42 control plus s and then I execute it so here you can see uh, okay or else I can do it in another form also uh, 3 so here you can see okay so I hope you have understood it here the float value 22 uh, uh, 2.5 e3 is stored into the variable a the type of variable a will be internally taken as float type the convenience in scientific notation is that it is possible to represent very big numbers using less memory so I hope you have understood the concept. Then we have another concept in Python. Uh, another data type in Python is complex data type. Complex data type. So a complex number is a number that is uh, written in the form of a plus b j, b i or j or a plus b j okay here a represents the real number a represents the real number uh, real part of the number and b represents imaginary part this is the real part of the number real part and this is imaginary part part of the number okay the suffix j j or capital J after B indicates the square uh, root value of square root value of minus 1 this is also called ita uh, in mathematics you may be heard uh, in complex number so the part A and B may contains integer or float value for example 3 plus 5 J or uh, mm, minus 1 minus 5.5 J or uh, 0 0.2 plus 10.5 j so such kind all are complex numbers see the following statement uh, like let's execute some um, exe uh, some program in python okay so i assign c equals to 1 plus 2 j okay and uh, b equal to 2 plus 4.0 j okay this time i take capital j okay so i just want to add add these numbers complex numbers c plus b and i first i just want to know the data type of this okay so print type of uh, c c or uh, b same data type okay because both are the complex number and then I just want to print sum also okay so let's check it let's uh, open one more terminal and let's check it out so here you can see uh, the data type of uh, this variable is complex and the sum is 3 plus 6 j okay so I hope you have understood it here the complex number uh, we have assigned uh, to the variable c hence python interpreter takes the data type of uh, variable c as complex type okay we'll uh, write a program uh, we have uh, written a program to addition of uh, two complex numbers and uh, there are some also uh, 
so in that program we store complex numbers in the variable c and another complex number in variable another variable b and then add them we have added them and the result of addition is stored in another variable sum uh, which is another complex uh, type variable and then the value of sum is print out and displayed we have used a uh, print function to display the output okay so you can see the program here so i hope this is enough for this video uh thank you for watching my youtube channel